Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture and today's project I wanted to use the Cottontail Market Transfer. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. This is a size C transfer, that means it is a 12 by 18. Uh, yes, yeah, Spring Cottontail Market. That is the name of the transfer. It is in low quantity uh, at the time of me recording this. I literally just got this yesterday and it's almost sold out. Yeah, but I'm not going to be using the entire portion of the the entire transfer. I'm going to only be using a portion of it on my Aiden frame. This is a 9 by 12 frame, and this is a 12 by 18. They do have a 12 by 18 frame. If you want, uh, if you know you're going to be using size C's or larger transfers, I will have an editable shopping cart link that will have the 9 by 12 that I'm using today plus the larger one. Um, if you'd like to get it, like I said, it's edible. You can subtract things out if you just want to get the transfer, which I strongly suggest if you get anything, if you're able to get the transfer. They're going to be coming out with what they call a um, chockable chip shapes in the shape of this little bunny, and it's going to be a reusable surface just like the chockable chips, which will be great because then you can add magnets and you can put it onto your Aiden frame if you want to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Oh, and I'm also going to be using their happy, what is it, happy Easter minis. I keep wanting to call these spring minis. It's not. Happy Easter minis. I'm going to be using this one, Spring Has Sprung, in place of the established 1945. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. Keep your backer sheet. Now, if you'll notice, they, these are from their new manufacturer. I love this because it has a bit more transparency to it, so I can see where I'm placing my transfer much better than I could with the other ones, which I love. I absolutely love that. So I, I need to fuzz this. These are very, very sticky. I need a bigger table, I swear. I don't know how much bigger I can get, but I'm sure I can get a bigger table. <laughs> I really need one. Get all this stuff over here to the right of me. But these are sticky. And so you need to fuzz them because this Aiden frame right here, it has a very smooth surface and you want to make sure that you fuzz this very well. Usually two or three times will work, but um, I tried doing it earlier and it, this, this particular transfer that I have is very sticky, so I need to fuzz it several times. I, could, I was having a difficult time trying to get it placed on my, my frame. So you do need to fuzz this quite a bit if you're going to be putting it on a very smooth surface. But I think this is absolutely adorable. You can just use the bunny. You can just use the little saying on the bottom. It says, every bunny welcome. Um, you can just use the cottontail market. So there's elements of this transfer you can use. You don't have to use it all the same. Uh, you know, the entire transfer on one design or project. So you can just use sections, which is what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be using this this saying right here along with it. And another project that I uh, would like to do with this one is a banner with some ink to put outside. You know those those banners, the the metal holders that you can put in your garden. I think that would look really cute. Or if you just want one on your house on your door, you could do that too. There's a couple of options there. But today I'm going to be using a portion of this transfer on the 9 by 12 Aiden frame. Okay, we're going to give this a go. Let's see how this is. Now, you need to be a little bit careful with some of these bigger ones because it can kind of flip on itself. But that should happen. Don't don't worry about it. Just slowly peel it apart. Okay, yeah, that works. That feels much better. All right. See how there, it's more transparent? I know it's on a dark surface, but I may have, Oh, I forgot to turn on my light. <clears throat> I don't know if that will help or not, but we will try. Let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit better. Hopefully you can see what I'm referring to. Yeah, because I, it's so transparent, all you see is the darkness, you can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's there. 
All right, I think I have it positioned where I would like to have. Okay, let me. I gotta scoot this down a little bit so I can see a little bit more overhead instead of at an angle. There we go. I have it about where I want. I'm offsetting it. Here's the rabbit. And all you do is, like you do with the other transfers, you just smooth it over with your fingers. That way, you, you know, you make sure you don't have any air pockets there, any little lumps or bumps. Anything that is preventing your transfer from making good contact with your surface. So I'm just smoothing that over. And I will be using the color. I'm going to do it all in one color. I'm going to be using bright white. And I'm going to be using a small squeegee instead of the mini squeegee. And I'm only going to be using the rabbit and the flowers here, part of the flowers. I do. I hope you're able to get this transfer. It is in low quantity. It's, it's on the verge of selling out. I literally just got this yesterday. And I just, when, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, there are so many things that you can do, like for a sign like this, you could just use the Cottontail Market if you wanted to do that. All right, I think it's down pretty good. Actually, I'm going to go over this with my squeegee. Just try to make sure I have good contact here. Now, if there's any parts that you do not want to, like this leaf is pretty close right there, but I think I'll be okay. You can always use some placement tape. See, I know that's kind of hard for you to see. I thought doing this during the daytime might, might be better, but I'm not sure. Um, you can use some placement tape or painter's, uh, painter's tape. So that way you don't have to worry about getting any paste where you don't want it. But I think that's pretty good. I'm going to leave it like that. Here, I'm going to be using the bright white. Let me see if I can zoom out now. Okay, and I'm using my, my small squeegee here, and with these, it just glides right on the paste. I do, I love these new transfers, you know, they're manufacturer. The design of these, I just, I do. I mean, the paste just glides on. They're easier to clean up. The backing is uh, more sticky. Hopefully you can see the design a little bit better now. <laughs> All right. But yeah, if you're able to get this, um, please do. They, Like I said, uh, they're going to have what is called, they're uh, chocolate chips, but it's in a, a, a shape. Of this rabbit so that way it, and it's a reusable surface so that way if you want to put a magnet on it you could and put it on your Aiden frame all right I do want to get some of the flower here and unfortunately it was not ready with the launch with their spring 2023 collection it was not ready and I'm just going to scrape off the excess. Make sure I have good even coverage. And I'll just put that back in the jar. So now I'm going to peel and reveal and hopefully you'll be able to see the bunny now. <laughs> and I just slowly peel up. It's going to look so stinking cute. Now, I'm doing this all in white just because it's the frame is white and I think it will look pretty nice. But if you want to do colors, you can do that. Oh my goodness, isn't that so cute? All right, where's my spray bottle? I've got an extra towel over here. And I'm just going to spray that down so I can get it to the sink and clean it. Keep that silk screen. And then... I'm going to be using the Spring Has Sprung because it had established 1945, but I'm not going to use that. 
I'm going to use the spring of sprung. Now I've scored these. You can cut these apart. This is their Happy Easter Minis. Oh, I got a fuzz. I need a fuzz. I think that is so cute. And then I have um, a little flower pot that I painted with some milk paint. And I've got some little fake flowers here. And I'm going to put it next to it. And I'm going to put this on an easel. I'll have a photograph at the end of this video so that way you'll see the completed project, you know, and how it's set up on my little my little um, side table here. I think that would be absolutely adorable, something for the entranceway. And then I'm just going to put spring has sprung over here. Now this is completely optional. You don't have to do that. And I'm just put, pressing it on there. I'm going to go back into my bright white using the same uh, squeegee. A little too much there. Try to make sure I have good coverage. Now you can add a bow to your project if you would like to. I'm going to kind of leave, just leave mine as is because I'm going to have that on the side. And then you just peel that up. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this idea and this project. I had it in my mind. It's one of those things, you know how it goes. Sometimes you get things pictured in your mind. They don't always turn out, but I do really like how oh, this is like stuck to my finger. There we go. <clears throat> that down. Oh, how adorable. Now, you can just let this air dry. Or if you, you know, want to rush things along, you can use a hair dryer or something to dry it. But yeah, this is a 9 by 12 Aiden frame. So if you like that transfer and it's a 9, and that is the size C, it is a 12 by 18, you can just use a portion of it. And if you didn't want to use that part, you didn't have to. You could use the established or just leave it as is. You know, and just have it that way, and then maybe have like a little wreath or something there. Oh, they have the magnetic wreaths. That's an idea, too. They have magnetic wreaths. So if you want to put the little magnetic wreath there, you know, you could do that, too. I think that would be absolutely cute. Or you just do, you know, do a simple bow. But you can just use a portion of that transfer. I think that turned out absolutely adorable. Thank you so much for watching, and like I said, I will have an edible shopping cart link down below. That way, if you'd like to get this transfer and before it sells out, and hopefully, you know, um, you'll be able to get one. And I hope you enjoyed this project and it gave you an idea on using a portion of it. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a beautiful day.